Hello, Dumaguete. Hello, Negros Oriental. Hello, Silimanians around the world. This is Joshua Soldivilio. And this is Ronilyn Faith by Losses. And you're watching Hashtag Siliman. For Siliman updates, Silliman University produced 13 new medical doctors among the 16 examinees in March 2022 Physician Board Examinations. Congratulations to our new physicians and of course, to the proud parents and faculty members. Speaking of competence, the university is sending Beatrice Allen Gatanala, a second-year entrepreneurship student and Isabel Torres, a third-year creative writing student, to the Japan Summer Service Learning or JSSL program to be hosted by the International Christian University in Japan this July 2022. Congratulations and good luck on your new adventure! The most awaited ETRAMS officially starts today. That's March 28, 2022. The students will be playing Axie Infinity, Call of Duty Mobile, both Battle Royale and Multiplayer, Valorant, Minecraft Squid Game, Silliman Edition, Dance Sport Competition, Defense of the Ancients or Dota, Mobile Legends, Bang Bang, Online Run, and Online Takyan. Break a leg for all the participating students and of course, to the organizing committee of this year's intramurals. For other updates, the university acknowledges the significance of rest. Meanwhile, the screen break for the senior high school starts today, March 28th to April 2, 2022. Last week was meant for early childhood, elementary school, and junior high school. During the screen break, there will be no synchronous classes and ODL activities, and students are expected to rest and spend time off the screen. That would be all. See you next week for another set of Hashtag Cinnamon updates. Good evening everyone. This is a magazine program that talks about different aspects of Silliman University. A program initiated to discuss matters concerning the campus by the sea. Welcome to Hashtag Silliman. Good evening Silimanians around the world. Dangkang salamat for joining another episode of Hashtag Silliman. It's already the last week of March and time flies so fast. But I'm sure all of us are excited for April because I'm sure there are a lot of things that are in store for us. John Dewey once said that education is a, not a preparation for life, but education is life itself. That's why in Silliman University, we really aim to give our students the best quality of education, which for fundamentally begins at the School of Basic Education. Tonight, joining us are two leaders of SBE, and allow me to introduce to you one of the principals of SBE, particularly at the Early Childhood Department. We have Assistant Professor Ethel Burgos. Ma'am, good evening and welcome to the show. Good evening, Sir Josh. It's my pleasure to be here. Welcome to Hashtag Seliman, Ma'am Ethel. And we also have here with us tonight the Associate Dean of the College of Education and the concurrent principal of the Seliman University Elementary School. Please help me welcome the ever beautiful Assistant Professor Myla June T. Patron. Good evening. Good evening, Sir Josh. Good evening, Good Mabon. evening, Ma'am. Good, e good evening, everyone. Na conscious tas guapa. <laughs> I second the motion. <laughs> All right, so Mamaila and Mam Ethel, how are you and what keeps you busy these days? Uh, I'm good. Uh, we're busy with the upcoming uh, closing exercises of kindergarten one and two, actually. And then we're also preparing for our accreditation uh, next school year. Speaking of accreditation, I'd like yeah. to congratulate the elementary school wow. for having yes. been re-accredited yes. by the PASCO. What does it mean for the elementary school and, of course, for the university, Mamay? Yes, thank you for that question, Rondeline. It's It actually means a lot you know, to elementary school. Actually, just to give you a background, it's, I think, the most difficult accreditation ever for our teachers and, and uh, the elementary school. Uh, because for one, no, they were accredited not only for the pandemic, uh, the program during the pandemic, but also yeah. for the pre-pandemic. And there was this, you know, comparison and uh, expectation at the same time that we have migrated successfully from the pre-pandemic uh, situation to ODL or online distance learning. So in other words, this means that we were able to successfully keep 
yeah. the standards, mm -hmm. no matter how difficult it is. And I, I think it is just fair that we give due credit to the previous principal as mm -hmm. well, uh, right. uh, Mrs. Uh, Dubi Estalio, as well as the you know very dynamic uh, faculty, hardworking, very hardworking. Grabe mm -hmm. showed ang challenge. Um, they had to migrate no from a uh, non ODL to the ODL space and it's really difficult especially for our faculty who are not familiar with technology yes. and technology is a very important evaluation component of the PASCO and mm -hmm. gladly okay. because of Seoul I think we were able to do things really we adjust, well yeah. we were yeah. able to adjust well and it's it's Seoul really played uh, a big part mm -hmm. in the and in, in the the reaccreditation of elementary school. Mm -hmm. Right. So yes. that I think yes. that must be very challenging for teachers, especially also to our educational leaders, not mm -hmm. the SBE. So um, speaking of my soul, mm -hmm. I'd like to go to Assistant Professor yes. Burgos. How did you react that um, there will be a continuity plan for the early childhood education, and we will be migrating to an online distance setup? And how, what was your initial reaction to it, ma'am? Actually, especially for yes. the early childhood department, no? Actually, we were planning before that, before even before the start of the school year when the pandemic started, and uh, because of Seoul preparing us to be, you know, equipped with the things that we need to do, I, I guess we were ready. Wow. Yeah. Mm -mm. So, um, Can you still remember? You were the first speaker that we had. <laughs> it, it was about uh, understanding Corona learning, yeah. learning packets, how to yes. make learning packets. You were the, our first uh -huh. speaker or uh, trainer at that time, right. before Seoul. And, and I can clearly remember that um, I would really agree, you know, that Mam Ma Borgos is just, is really saying that they were really prepared, not just for saying that, you know, for this show, but I can assure that, you know, these guys are really working so hard, you know, for the preparations. So aside from the trainings and uh, the professional development programs that you did, of course, to uh, equip yourselves for the ODL, how did you also prepare the parents, especially the level and the age of your students? Uh, we had orientation for parents and we also had parenting seminars skills for parents, uh, the skills that they need to, to acquire for them to really guide and support their children. We had that in our ECS support services. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Uh. So let me go back to Mamaila about mm -hmm. the activities that you had for the elementary school. Mm -hmm. What were the events or activities that you had um, initially conducted face-to-face -face that was successfully transitioned into the virtual space? Okay. Yeah, there are actually a lot. And, you know, with the help of our staff, uh, support staff and also the non-teaching faculty, particularly mm -hmm. our uh, librarians and guidance counselors and school nurse, uh, we were able to migrate uh, several programs mm -hmm. to the, the online platform. So one is the library. So we have uh, the online library which uh, enables the learners or the students to borrow uh, mm -hmm. books, access right. materials no, through Seoul. Uh, we also have the student support uh, uh, platform through that that's available through the my soul platform and um, this is where our guidance counselor and school nurse prepare yes. every week I think also yeah. Mama Ethel has that us, in, yeah. in mm -hmm. um, early childhood um, Makalingaw ka you you can probably uh, visit or we can let you visit no the, these uh, virtual virtual mm -hmm. classrooms office, yeah. yeah the office where our nurse would mm -hmm. uh, can I give a short talk, siguro mga 10 minutes lang in mm -hmm. Anna about health and then mm -hmm. our guidance counselor yeah. will also give uh, talk, talk about kana mga values for the and week yes, and yeah. Anna no, mga, also, yeah. yes yeah. and we have convocations mm -hmm. as well so I think uh, in terms of student support mm -hmm. and programs related to that we were able to do that such migration uh, successfully mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Well, um, speaking of uh, successful migration, mm -hmm. I, I understand it, it must have been a very challenging transition yes. as well. So yes. let's talk about challenges that mm -hmm. you were able to overcome um, at the early childhood department. What were the key learning experiences that you can share to us? Okay, you're talking about uh, opportunities and the major learnings. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the shift from face-to-face -to, -face to ODL um, mm -hmm has taught us all at the ECS to be a family or a team. Uh, we, wow. learned, we learned how to value each other's uh, contributions, mm. sharing and even carrying our concerns yes. and even mm. burdens. And Very important. We yeah. also learned how to put all together our effort um, despite disagreements. Mm. And I think, that's, I think that's the common gift that we had uh, that we can carry with us even after the pandemic. Wow. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's very inspiring, Ron. No. Uh, yeah. Speaking of effort, I, I do believe that in school of basic education, the effort should not be um, focused on the faculty or the teaching faculty. Yes. Mm -hmm. no? What is the role of the parents um, in, uh, in elementary and early mm -hmm. childhood education? Yes. Let us uh, start first with Mamayla. Okay. Yeah, the parents' involvement, I believe, has never been this uh, palpable, this, you know, this obvious as it has been, ever mm -hmm. been. Um, parents have been involved a lot in their, in their children's learning you know, mm -hmm. since the start of the pandemic. The, the just, siguro, the sad, not really the sad thing, it's communication. We, if yes. we only could do so, no, we would really communicate more with our parents and yeah. get in touch with them because we know that their help is uh, very uh, very important essential to the entire learning process mm -mm. yeah parents are really involved even if you don't see them we don't have pta actually we uh, yes. yeah pta since last the year pandemic. since the pandemic uh, 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 yeah. yes. no, oh, oh. Yes. but uh, they they have this facebook page that's mm -hmm. still active and they they still post announcements there and update each other yes. yeah and i in, in terms of um uh, support to the school yeah they they still give us suggestions as to how we can improve our practices they call us wow. yeah and yes. yeah yeah mm -hmm. we believe parents have been very supportive mm -hmm. even during the pandemic mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. how about in the early childhood mm -hmm. mom ethel yeah our parents have been our partners especially this i pandemic. like the word partner yes. Yes. yes uh they have been their children's uh Coaches, teachers, mm. advocates, supporters, and even cheerleaders. Mentors. <laughs> yeah. Mentors. And with that, mm. we are very grateful to our parents mm. yeah, wow. for their so, support. Um, I, I think the major takeaway here is uh, we are re really seeing a lot of opportunities and mm -hmm. we are fostering and strengthening you know, the parental guidance and support yes. you know, that we get from our guardians. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it's, it's uh, also very insightful no, for, mm -hmm. for us to hear all of this. So, Ma'am Myla and Ma'am Ethel, what, what have been or what could be your evaluation for this transition, especially that we are already running two years mm -hmm. uh, of the ODL? Well, things are not perfect, of course. Uh, mm -hmm. we, we are a work in progress. But I would say that compared to last year, we are mm. improving. Um, nice. What's admirable yes. in elementary is that we have a lot of senior faculty, but you would really admire their resilience. Um, believe Ganiko because they even know how to use a lot of soul features yes. <laughs> more soul features than I do they they know how to use the PLD they, yes. they really know how to maximize the, the use of yes the interactives and um, I would say there's the spirit of Bayanihan because whatever mm -hmm. they cannot do um, our our uh, you know the younger mm -mm. the younger faculty can actually help them with those so without Kinda with that's walay sa payan. No, they they don't really mention it. No, they just call their uh, you know uh, 
I, I'm looking for more appropriate words, but they're, they're colleagues, no, who mm -hmm. need their help and say, Ma'am, mag-meet tayo, yung anong oras, yung yes. anong, ano, right. let's, let's put up your, let's set up your virtual classroom. Mm -hmm. And so nobody nobody sees those behind the scene mm -mm. Uh, situations, yes. no. Because when they're done, this, they deliver, mm -mm. no. Mm -mm. Everybody yes. sees now. Okay, the, it's it's okay. They can do their synchronous and uh, mm -mm. asynchronous uh, classes really well. Mm -mm. So yeah, mm -mm. I think bayanihan. There's this. Mm -mm. The, it has it has enhanced. I think and also um, the confidence, no, and that faith that. Yeah, we can really do it no matter how difficult mm. it is. Yeah. Yes. Uh, ours is, I think, to strengthen our PTA partnership, uh, parent-teachers uh, partnership, because it's it has been two years, right? Two that years. More than two years that we did not have our PTA. Second is for our faculty and staff to be equipped with the technological skills. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think that's really needed. Uh, for us to, to really improve our delivery through ODL. Yes. So listening from both our speakers, no, the spirit of cooperation and of course passion is really there. Now I'd like to ask Mom Ethel, given the play and learn setup of early childhood, mm -hmm. like how did it change or can you share um, an experience that you had while teaching um, the kids? What were the things that, uh, no, that took place there? Actually, with the play and learn nature of the early childhood education, we were able to adjust mm -mm. and uh, our curriculum in a way that play is still integrated mm -mm. in across learning areas, and uh, still it is it's, it's still a part of the, our our learning process mm -mm. and our learners. So we made it a fact that a point that the, there is that play in every aspect or integration across learning areas right yeah. because yes. i think the interest yes. and the how do you call this one sense of curiosity has, yeah. has to be really yeah. present since our our curriculum is integrated and we make sure that uh the very core of it is christian values uh to to integrate christian values across learning areas and i think that's the very core and the and uh, that is holistic and that is the Taxiliman education. Wow. Yes. Wow. So uh, for elementary education, we're also curious about what's the Taxiliman uh, elementary, no? <laughs> but uh, Mamaila, hold yes. it to that answer. We'll be uh, answering that question after a short break.
Welcome back to Hashtag Silliman and together with us are still Assistant Professor Myla Jungki Patron and of course Assistant Professor Ethel Burgos. So we actually, before we pause for a short break, we actually asked Ma Myla about the Tatak Silliman brand of our elementary school, especially that we celebrated, how many years was that Ma May? Like there's this uh, jubilee 98. years, 98 years? Yes. 98 still years. Great at still great at 98. Still great at 98. Wow. So, um, what makes our SU elementary school education unique? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's a difficult question, actually, for me, who, is, uh, who has been with ele the elementary school for several months. But I believe, I'd like to pick up uh, what Mom Ethel said, that while maybe we share a lot of things, you no know, good practices with other schools, what makes us our education tatak siliman is the faith that's placed at the core you know, of the old, of the, the education mm -hmm. and, and learning process. So you can just imagine every month we uh, we have our convocation mm -hmm. and and lahi pagyod ang among devotion no faculty mm -hmm. and staff devotion and for the convocation the Christian convocations the the students are really asked to write. Uh, reflection papers mm. or um, summarize know what they have learned and we invite uh, Silimanians for speakers mm -hmm. as well so it's about yeah in being inspired by mm. by God's word and by each other by Silimanians themselves mm -hmm. that also I believe would turn them into uniquely you know Siliman uh, Silimanians no, or si people who have uh, strong core values and we can say have the Silliman brand of education. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'd also like to ask both of you, Mam Ethel and Mam Myla, with all the things that have been happening because of the transition brought by the pandemic, what are your key takeaways? Uh, for us, as uh, uh, in, the, in the early childhood school, I think um, our takeaway is for us to be resilient. <laughs> <laughs> with the challenges that we are facing right now, especially with the upcoming accreditation, uh, uh, I need the help of Mamaila to help us also with yeah. uh, with the with the requirements, of course, for accreditation. When is the accreditation? Uh, yeah. That would be February 2023. Ah, 20, mm -hmm. next so, year. Yes. Okay. Wow. So, so imagine how hard working our early child mm -hmm. teachers are yes, <laughs> one true. year before we're already prepping no, for the accreditation. Yeah. So I, I definitely, um, Amayla could also um, provide some tips, especially yes. that you also underwent accreditation not only for the elementary, mm -hmm. uh, even in the for College of college Education. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. So I, I think Ron, they mentioned also that there is this spirit of bayanihan between yeah. and among uh, colleagues. No? But I, I'm sure the pandemic has also really taken a toll on our mental health. That's so yes. um, how does... Uh, educational leaders at your respective academic units, how do you support or how, mm. what, what are your, let's say, do you have specific programs or activities yes. that mm. you do to make sure that we also put attention to this wellness component? Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, uh, particularly on mental health because that's the this important <laughs> aspect of, yes. of a wellness or well-being that is, uh, you know, uh, important especially in this pandemic uh, we had mental or we had uh, what is this uh, seminar or we had webinar last month uh, mm -hmm. it's about mental well-being we invited speakers uh, for for that particular program so I think uh, uh, we've been supportive to the needs of our faculty and staff in, in terms of, of wellness as in general how about for our uh, learners, uh, Mam Ethel? Because I'm not so sure. Because oh, what's the age bracket of our four learners? for Kinder One and five for Kinder Two? So, mm. Yeah, uh, actually, it's it's covered by the support services. We have it month monthly. Okay. Uh, our activities is monthly, and then we have uh, our guidance counselor in nurse. terms of yes, nurse and the librarian to help us. Uh, give services to our students particularly and we also have our spiritual uh, uh, what is this advisor our our pastor mm. university pastor for the spiritual uh, well-being 
Right. Mm -hmm. uh, how about for the elementary? I think it's more heterogeneous because we have mm -hmm. grade one, two, mm -hmm. until six, right? Yes. So how do we also um, address that component, Mamay? Yeah. Uh, for the faculty, I think the devotion is a big help no? mm -hmm. for us to have a conversation with each other mm -hmm. and help keep each other sane. Mm -hmm. And of course, we don't, we don't, we try not to stress each other. Really. Hopefully, I'm not stressing <laughs> yes. my colleagues. At all. <laughs> I hope, yeah, I hope I'm not stressing them. Or, <laughs> but I think, yeah, that's that's something I think that we also have to learn. Uh, to, to you know to, to stop and smell the flowers and yes. you know and just enjoy each other's uh, company mm -hmm. whenever we talk we talk about work yeah. right and mm -hmm. that's already a lot of stress so yeah I think conversations that are light and and mm -hmm. spiritual can help us keep our yes. uh, mental health uh, afloat or yeah help mm -hmm. can keep us healthy mentally um, for the students, yeah, the convocations, I think. And yeah, I think we also really need to look more into that and mm -hmm. as to how we can improve uh, such, yes. mm -hmm. in, in such aspect, no? providing such support. You know, after everything, mm -hmm. we are now in the second semester. And I could say, uh, and I like to say kudos to all the efforts that our faculty and staff made. Right. Uh, we, we have come this far. Mm -hmm. No? But I'd like to ask also, Mamayla and Mam Ethel, about their plans. Mm -hmm. And are there anything, a specific thing that we can look forward to for the next school year? Okay, mm -hmm. our plans for the next school year Secret. will be <laughs> dependent on the decision of the of the university mm -hmm. whether it's online it's blended or mm -hmm. pure odl or um what's the other one uh limited phase limited phase. Yeah. Yes. yes but whatever that will be we will still give our best to provide holistic christian education yeah for our learners. Yeah, because I think mm. the majority of our viewers are really curious about mm. the possibility of conducting face-to-face mm. -to -face classes already That's next true. year. Mm. And I think perhaps, it, I, I'm not sure if, it, if it's about time to finally get back to it, but uh, so far, what have mm. been the um, vision or foresight of the yeah. SBE leadership yeah. for this? For SBE, actually, mm -hmm. we are already working on the the requirements, yes. Ma'am Tel. No, mm -hmm. DepEd is a little bit stringent. Daggan kay silang requirements mm -hmm. um, okay. so for us to get the safety seal, and uh, we really are uh, working hard uh, to get that seal. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are many things to answer, like uh, naasila evaluation questionnaires. They will yes. uh, conduct inspection uh, sa site, mm -hmm. no? yes. and then uh, there are requirements in terms of classroom mm -hmm. arrangement, logistics, and so on. Um, and we'll do our best not to to work on that on those requirements. Uh, maybe the closest, no, siguro senior high by senior high by senior high senior high senior high by August siguro yes. ang, ang elementary and high school uh, dili pagyud sigurado. But mm -hmm. once SBE gets the approval, then more or less pwede na po ang uban. Yes. Yes. yes, and. Right now, ang mas gi priority siguro na mo is to have the face-to-face -face graduation mm -hmm. at least no for senior wow, high. Oh, graduation for senior high. high. For senior high. Yes, yes. Okay. but basun lang po. Hopefully, because a lot of our parents in the elementary and uh, high school, high school. Yeah. Yes. they want the face-to-face -face graduation. Yes. Oh, yeah, we we go by DepEd Mangod. We are yes. DepEd compliant. Yes. So mm -hmm. we have to ask permission. A lot of schools now have already expressed intent to have that face-to-face mm -hmm. uh, -face graduation. So basun kita. Hopefully, we can yes. get that. Hopefully, yes. yes. Right. So in other words, mm -hmm. everything now is actually wrapped in prayers, mm -hmm. and yes. uh, we pray that uh, there will be no significant surge, you know, yes. in the forthcoming months, yes. because we really wish to have. Have that face-to-face -face graduation, yes, right? That's right? So um, perhaps I think uh, we'll we'll have to um, ask our last question, Ron, because mm. we are um, actually almost out of time. So mm. I think the final question for um, Mamayla and Mam Ethel is that: What is your message? 
for our students, for our parents, especially that we're almost done, I, I, right, of the, of the school year, almost yeah. over. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure they're also already stressed or perhaps mm -hmm. this, this having, a, how do you call this one, high level of anxiety. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is your message to them? And uh, perhaps you also have other important announcement to make. Yes. This is your chance. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Ma'am Ethel. Yes. I'd like to thank our dear parents for entrusting their education to early childhood school. And um, thank you for your guidance and support uh, uh, throughout this pandemic. And I hope this will end soon. <laughs> and sure, to those yeah. parents who are planning to, to apply and to enroll at early childhood school, uh, our, our Kinder One age qualification is four years old and for kinder two is five years old uh, by August of the current school year. I think that's all. Mm. And uh, I think we will just announce it uh, through Facebook. Yes. Mm -mm. Thank you, Mama Ethel. Yeah. Yeah. And yes, before I give my message to the parents, I also would like to thank our very supportive administration. You know, everything, yes. the, the accreditation and the transition would have not been successful without the, our very supportive administration. Yes. And uh, that and our teachers as well as our staff. And yeah, our message to our students and parents, um, like what Mom Ethel said, we thank them for being our partners. And uh, we just hope that as we transition together, they hang on and uh, just have faith in us that uh, we will all try to to um, make our practices better, train our teachers more, and if possible, also train our students to really cope with uh, the ODL and now the limited face-to-face -face, uh, setup. And yes. for our enrollment procedure, actually they're all available on our Silliman website. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, that's it. And we will make necess all necessary announcements once everything yes. is finalized. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for Thank that, Ma'am Ayla and Ma'am Ethel. Mm -hmm. When we talk about School of Basic Education, I'd like to associate it with playing and learning. Yes. So yes. let us have fun. <laughs> so let's, uh, we prepared a fast talk. You don't have to think about yes. this. Uh, you just have to choose one. Okay, let's start. Shall okay. we start? So just to remind Mamaila and Ethel, this is a life-changing decision <laughs> <laughs> that you're going to undertake at this juncture. <laughs> All right, let's begin with Mamaila first. Cakes or chocolates? Chocolates. Ma'am Ethel, beach or mountain? Mountains. <laughs> Mamai, rain, rainy days or sunny days? Rainy days. Ma'am Ethel, heels or sneakers? Sneakers. <laughs> okay. Mamaila, amphitheater or library? Amphitheater. But we're in the library. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am Ethel, Ian Veneracion or Piolo Pascual? Ian. Ian. <laughs> Mama, Gerald Anderson or Jericho Rosales? Jericho Rosales. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am Ethel, ODL or face-to-face? Face-to-face, please. Ma'am Ayla, blazer or cardigan? Cardigan. Okay. <laughs> Ma'am Ethel, Silliman Hall or Katipunan Hall? Um... Man Hall. <laughs> okay. Mamai, the most beautiful place in the university. Uh, okay. <laughs> Amphitheater. Amphitheater. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ethel, um, Founders Day or Intramurals? Founders Day. Oh. Looking forward for the Founders yes. Day. Yes. yes. Mamai, um, describe Silliman in one word. Love. Oh, no. love. Ma'am Ethel, a person in the university you find inspiring? Ma'am Myla. Oh. <laughs> I thought Ma'am Ethel would say Joshua. <laughs> Ma'am Myla, yes, I also agree. Yes, yes. Both you. You. Very humble. Ma'am, uh, Myla and Ma'am Ethel, you are really inspiring and keep up the good work. That's all thank I can you, say, John. really. Thank so you, once John. again, thank you so much to our guests for tonight. And we have now come to the last segment of our episode, which is called Hashtag WTP Word to Ponder. So, Ron, we have a very light conversation yes. this episode. What is your word to ponder? I'd like to ponder on the word play. Play. Mm. Because, you know, when we reach a certain age, we tend to disregard that thing, you know. But most importantly, we must stay youthful 
for us to also keep up with the younger generation. And while playing, we can also learn a lot of things. Yes. You know, the purpose in this life or the reason why we are here is to have fun. So regardless of your age, play. How about you, Josh? What is your word to ponder? Um, I, I think um, from the sharing of Mamaila and um, Ethel, um, one thing that really surfaces is really the leadership, not only of our administrative um, officers, but also our parents, of our um, faculty members, and even our students. No? That mm -mm. they really are exhibiting this leadership, yeah. that they're able to... Um, take a huge responsibility with this shared purpose no? despite uncertainties. And I think that's a true mark or that's a hallmark of being a leader, right? That's true. So thank you once again to our viewers tonight. I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to follow. Do, do we have respective Facebook pages for elementary and preschool, right? Mm -hmm. So don't forget to follow their uh, Facebook page and make sure to get updated on their posts. So, daghang salamat and to God be the glory. Hello there, Silimanians! Daghang salamat for joining our episode tonight. Don't forget to follow our social media accounts. On Facebook, it's called Hashtag Siliman. And please don't forget to click the notification button of our YouTube channel called Hashtag Siliman. And catch us on Fail Products every Monday at 8 p.m. And replays will be shown every Tuesday at 2 p.m. And Saturdays at 5 p.m. This has been Ronnie Lynn Faith by Losses. And Joshua Saldivillo. And see you next week only here on... Hashtag, Hashtag Cinnamon! Cinnamon. Bye! Bye.